Well, welcome back to the series on mastering coding patterns. In this series, we are learning coding patterns in order to ace technical interviews and quickly pass our coding competitions. Now, what we are going to discuss today, as yesterday we discussed uh, and uh, took a very, very brief overview of two point approach. Today, we are stepping ahead. And now today we are going to solve this question, which is a little, little, little bit involving, but if you will stick around and if you will watch the entire video, you will learn a ton from this. Okay, then now what uh, we are going to discuss today, we are going to discuss two point approach. Yesterday, as we discussed that in two point approach, we uh, we use two pointers. And uh, thanks to the two pointers, what we do, we either compare two elements in a given array, or we swap two elements in a given array two point approach can be used to partition away the array as well and it is not necessary that uh, that pointers start from uh, corners uh, it can be it can be possible that pointers start from the center okay it, it depends on use case to use case but the main gist is that you have to use two pointers rather than one and why we are using two pointers the best use cases uh, in order to avoid nested loops uh, rather than using a nested loop we use a single loop and thanks to this two pointer approach we solve such questions like uh, this one that we are going to discuss today okay so which question we are going to discuss the question number is 167 to sum two input array is sorted okay in simple words what the question is asking question is saying given a sorted array sorted array of numbers find out which two numbers sum which two numbers sum is equal to target number so basically what what is happening here that we are given a target number and uh, we have been given an array and now what we need to do we need to uh, we need to find out which two elements which two elements out of these four can uh, sum up and become nine so this is our job so how we can do this one approach is very simple that uh, naive using a naive approach what we can do we uh, use two for loops that uh, initially we start from this element and then we start traversing uh, to these elements and we see one by one whether we find uh, a value that uh, that if we sum these together it is, is equal to target or not but this approach it will involve two for loops it we it means that the time complexity will be o of n square which uh, is not a very good time complexity uh, depending on the use case but still the preferred time complexity is if possible we uh, somehow go in linear time so how is it possible that we can solve this question rather than uh, in quadratic time which is n square how we can solve this question in linear time just n so the approach is we use two pointer so what we can do we can place this pointer left this is L so left will be placed at the left corner and right will be placed at the right corner and now what we will do we will uh, start our loop and in each iteration what we will do we will check the left uh, the left element which the left pointer will be pointing towards and the right element which the right pointer will be pointing towards and when we will uh, sum them up we will see whether the resulting answer this is the two sum is equal to nine or not if it is equal to nine very good we found our answer if it is not equal to nine then what will happen then we will check whether the two sum is less than target or greater than target if the two sum is less than the target then what we will do we will simply increase our left point if the two sum is greater than the target then what we will do we will simply reduce our right pointer or it will move towards the left pointer side you can say so this is how we will traverse and eventually we will find our answer now one now two of the considerations of solving this question is that this question is basically we have in this question we have been given a sorted array okay sorted is a is an important thing here and then uh, this question is one indexed now what is the one index it is simply means that rather than starting from zero what we have to do when we will return uh, if let's say we found out at zero and uh, at the very minus one let's say so what we will do rather than starting from zero we will start from one so 
it, uh, it so this thing should be kept in mind that uh, here the indexing is starting from one rather than zero okay now what we are going to do let's solve this question and then we will move forward okay so uh, we are starting from l here left pointer which is pointing towards the leftmost element and right pointer which is pointing towards the rightmost element okay so here we have 2 plus 15 so i am writing 2 plus 15 so the answer is 17 right now this is the answer 17 so 17 is greater than the target this is our target so 17 is greater than the target we said like if we have our two sum which is greater than the target what we will do we are simply going to reduce our right pointer so what it will uh, it will move to what it will do it will move towards left side so uh, now it will be pointing towards 11 okay so okay now let's check so let me remove this and now let's compare 2 plus 11 is 13 now what will happen 13 13 is again greater than 9 so what we will do we will move our right further towards left so let's do this okay now let's again remove this part and let's calculate 2 plus 7 2 plus 7 now 2 plus 7 is 9 which is equal to our target so what we will do we will simply return the indices of these two elements okay now normally if you think what we have to uh, what we should uh, use here it is zero index and it is one index but here the case is different since it is one indexed that's why what we will type here one and two so we are assuming that rather than starting from zero what we are uh, doing we are starting from one and since we are starting from one so the next element of one should be two so that's why we are typing one and two and this is going to be our result okay pretty straightforward now let's jump towards the code and try to solve it la, 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 la. yeah so here we are uh, on lead code and here is this question the thing is that it is of medium difficulty and that's a good sign that um, we are stepping up our game and now we are moving ahead so rather than solving an easy one what we are doing today we are solving a medium question but if you keep that visualization and the understanding in mind the solution will be pretty pretty straightforward a piece of cake for you so what we have to do initially we have to start we have to initialize a left pointer right so uh, what we should assign to our left pointer zero I know it is one index we will take care of that case later on so now let's initialize right and what right is going to be so we have been given this array of numbers okay if I scroll down so this uh, this is the array this is the first example so this is an array of numbers right so what we have to do we simply have to count its length numbers and then we have to minus one why because initially we are uh, still starting from zero zero index uh, i know one index trust me on that we will take care of that case okay for now just to try to make sense that uh, uh, left will start from this two at the zeroth index and right will be placed here so it will be pointing towards 15 and then what we are going to do we are simply uh, going to initial uh, we are simply going to start our loop so here we have left which is less than right while left is less than right because simply uh, uh, if this is an this is a sorted array so it is a common sense that uh, the left one should be uh, uh, should be lesser than the right one and eventually what we how we will traverse we will simply add the left remember that case that we when we will uh, we will add one to the left when we will get an answer that is lesser than the target 
if the answer is greater than the target what we will do we will simply reduce the right and we will see here okay and when this uh, loop is going to end this is an important part this loop will end when the left will become equal to the right so then the further on the further code will not be executed and the loop will break which means when the left side and the right side will meet at a point let's say okay so here since we have four so what will happen uh, when uh, it will move forward from let's say the length is four so he, here will be three and here will be two so uh, uh, here will be one zero one right so one plus one will be two and three minus one will be two so when two and two left and right side will be equal this loop will break okay so let's jump towards the solution so here is two sum and what this two sum is going to contain this two sum is going to contain numbers and then we are typing left so left is going to be our index uh, of numbers array so we are starting left from zero so that's why it will be z2 plus numbers right cool okay so right will be at 15 now what we are going to do now we are going to check if to sum is equal equal to what to our target so what what this means if to sum is equal equal to our target so what we, sh we have to return we have to return and uh, we have to return an array so I am start I have opened a list and here I am typing left and right now wait for a while now the thing is that Ali you are using left and right and let's say let's say here so the uh, we are still uh, uh, the iteration is at zeroth position at zeroth index right so zero and one left is zero and right is let's say here 15 okay so what will happen let's say 7 was here so what would have happened it would have written 0 and 15 right but the answer shows 1 right so then what we have to do now we have to take care of that one index part so since we are starting from 1 so we are simply going to append we are simply going to add 1 to both of them now what will happen it will work like uh, it will start from zero but when the answer will be uh, produced so what will happen one will be added to each of the pointers so zero will return one and uh, the last index which is three will return uh, four if if let's say seven was here since seven is here and this is once uh, this is first position so i am adding one to it and that's why two will be written got it and then let's say lf lf like let's say two sum is not equal equal to target so what are the two uh, cases either it will be less than the target Oops, i forgot to type two sum either it will be less than target or right so if it is less than target so what uh, we have to do if let's say um there was let's say one so two plus one is three and three is less than target so what you have to do you have to move left towards right side because this is a sorted area okay so it will move towards the increment side so left plus equals one else else right minus equals one since right is a greater number so what uh, here the initial index will be three so of that will be assigned to right okay so three will be reduced so that it it moves towards left side okay if the two sum is greater than target now uh, i am not uh, returning any final thing because the question says your solution must use one uh, constant extra space and plus above it is saying that tests are generated such that there is exactly one solution you may not use the same element twice so it is saying that uh, there will be one uh, solution so this thing should execute okay every time so let's click on run and run this uh, question 
Wow, it got accepted. And let's click on submit. And 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 and, and wow, uh, the question got submit very quickly. Okay, awesome. So all the test cases are passed, and I hope you like this question. This was a pretty straightforward question. I tried my best to make it as easier to understand as possible. If you need further clarification, please do mention me in the comments, tag me and plus uh, your question and I'll try my best to answer it ASAP. I know sometimes it gets a little bit uh, delayed, but yes, I will. I'm, I'm looking at your comments and I will definitely answer them. So feel free to ask the questions. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and please do share it. Share this video. This playlist is made for you. So please share it with others so that others may benefit from it. Uh, coding patterns are a necessary element in order to quickly ace technical interviews and solve uh, coding questions. So I hope this uh, series may help you in your uh, technical interview preparation journey. I'll see you in the next video with the next question. Till then, take care. Bye.